Parking restrictions in Scarborough for Carnival 2016, advice for the public on Carnival safety, and the taxi stands to be relocated. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Public safety is a priority for police, especially during the carnival season. But officers will also be on patrol to ensure traffic laws and the temporary restrictions are adhered to as well. Here's more. The assistant superintendent at the Scarborough Police Division, Mr. Vernon Roberts, says there are a number of parking restrictions in Scarborough. Parking is prohibited along the following roads. Milford Road from Wilson Road to Orange Hill Road. Orange Hill Road from Milford Road to Crusoe Bypass, Wilson Road between Milford Road and Claude Noel Highway, Carrington Street, Custom Street, Bay Street, Dial Spring Road between Wilson Road and Gardenside Street, Montgomery Road on the western side only from Milford Road to the junction of Claude Noel Highway. According to Superintendent Roberts, parking will be prohibited at Republic Bank Car Park on Burnett Street and the Old Market Car Park on Piggott Street. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. The temporary traffic changes also include the relocation of taxi stands. More details in this report. Superintendent Roberts of the Scarborough Police Division said taxi drivers and their respective taxi stands will soon be temporarily relocated. Taxis apply to Canaan, Crom Point, Camby, Bethel, Patience Hill, and Signal Hill are relocated to the southern side of the Clonewell Highway between Wilson Road and Montgomery Road facing west. Mr. Roberts says taxis plying the Moriah Northside Road route will be relocated to Carrington Street between Burnett and Jenningham Streets. The Winward taxi stands will be moved to the Jenningham Street taxi stand. The routes of buses have also changed. Public transport buses shall use the following routes. Buses leaving Scarborough for Crown Point and environs will depart Scarborough from the junction of Claude Noel Highway and Wilson Road, Scarborough. Buses leaving Scarborough from the north and eastern regions will depart from the Botanic Lebai and drop off passengers at the same point. Buses heading to Scarborough will proceed south along Orange Hill Road, east along Milford Road, and north along Sanctus Hill Road to the terminus. I'm Stephanie Solomon for Info Update. Every year, one aspect of Carnival remains the same, a focus on safety of both the island's residents and visitors. Tobago Emergency Management Agency Director Mr. Alan Stewart says the public must ensure their safety when celebrating Carnival. All of us have a responsibility to be act within reason and to be circumspect as it relates to our own personal safety and also the public in regards to property and how we may associate with others, ensuring safety to all. Mr. Stewart says safety cannot be ensured by policymakers and service protectors alone. TEMA has therefore included a few health and safety tips in their emergency preparations for Carnival. If you are consuming alcohol, then it, it's, it is necessary for you to understand that you have to do that within reason at a particular limit. Mr. Stewart says parents should know where their children are at all times so they can protect them from potential danger. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Updates. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Updates. The Tobago Emergency Management Agency wishes to advise the public that the Gardenside Street car park will be closed from midnight on Friday, February 5th. This is to facilitate emergency and security services for Tobago Carnival 2016. The car park will reopen on Wednesday, February 10th at 6 a.m. Tima apologizes for any inconvenience caused. The first Citizens Car Park downtown Scarborough will be closed from 6 p.m. on Friday, February 5th and all day on Saturday, February 6th, 2016 to facilitate carnival celebrations. Surrounding sidewalks and walkways will be closed to the public. The public, including vendors, are asked to remove all property, including vehicles, trailers and tents, to allow unrestricted use of the car park. 